All right, so you know what? Let's go ahead and try the biplane. So let's tilt this up. You know what? Let's go ahead and not try the biplane here. Let's go to the bottom gun. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we're back once again. And today we're going to be checking out some awesome creations. So today we are going to start off with a supply drop. We have a C-130 here that is loaded with something special in the back. And we're going to do an aerial drop, and I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, but yeah, we've got that. we got some dogfights planned. Uh, I've got another uh, airship to try out. Uh, that supposedly you can do dog fights with, so uh, we'll uh, check that out. But yeah, all the creations will be linked down in the description if you want to try anything out that you see in this episode. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Alright, so just in case you're wondering what we have on the inside of this, we actually have a AA gun. Now, I do believe this AA gun is fully functional. It's got 12 missiles on it, so... We're going to deploy this in the air, get down on the ground, and maybe try to take out some air targets. But first, we got to find a place to drop this, and we have to hope that this works. Anyways, let's go ahead and check cameras real quick. We've got orbit view. Cam 1 is the cockpit. Cam 2 is the AA gun. Cam 3 is on top. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get this up in the air here. Throttle up. We'll go about 50% eh, right here. And, okay, let's go and ease it up. And let's see how easy this thing is to take off. Oh, that is buttery smooth. I like that. All right, let's go and retract landing gear. All right, so we have to find a place to drop our AA gun. Preferably somewhere is nice and open, that way we can use it. All right, so to drop this, you actually have to hit one. And that opens the doors, which, uh, let's go ahead and open up the back cargo doors there. Alright, ramp is down. You can see the AA in the back. That looks so cool. Alright, so I believe three is going to release, two or three is going to release, and then four is going to be the parachute for the AA. So let's go ahead and do a, oh, this is probably way too much of a bank turn for this, but let's go ahead and turn this way. You know what? We're going to drop it back at the airport that we started at. All right, so Jaeger Airport's in sight. Uh, we're going to climb some altitude here. I want to get over the waterway. That's my fear of dropping it too soon. So let's see about where we are. Still need to bank a little bit more. I don't know about how far these things actually bank over. I actually think these uh, C-130s bank really hard, especially if they have, like, uh, guns in the side. Yeah, you've got to hit your ground targets. Oh, this is such a cool-looking aircraft. All right, we are almost over the mountains here. We are getting ready to drop. All right, let's try to line up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and let's get flat here. Let's tilt our nose up a bit. That way it drops uh, smoothly. Waiting, waiting. Pretty sure we're over the road now. All right, here we go. We are ready to drop in three, two, one. Drop it. There we go. Wait. All right, we're clear of the aircraft. Parachutes have been deployed. The C-130 is going to crash into the sea. Did we do it? Oh, we're good. Oh, and the, uh, the plane's going to go down. Oh, it's falling. I wonder, could I switch back to it, control it again? Actually, I still have control. Don't, oh, never mind. Uh, no, I don't have control of it anymore. I'm controlling the camera on this. And the C-130, you can probably not even see this in the video, is... Sploop. Oh, I saw a little bubble. All right, folks, we might have deployed our parachutes a little soon here. This is going to take a while for, to get down. All right, we are about to come in contact with the ground. I guess I should try and see, make sure this thing works. Yeah, it does steer. I can see the back wheel is spinning, so we're good to go there. Here we go, and we are... De really? <laughs> no. Did we really just lose a wheel on dropping? Oh, that stinks. All right, let's go ahead and drop those. Does it still steer? Oh, it does. I don't think it goes forward anymore. Yeah, the throttles... Wait, is this a reverse? Hold on, hold on, let's hit one of these. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, okay. This goes good backwards. Where's the... Okay, there we go. Let me try to reverse this. We're not going the right way. Yeah, this thing goes really good backwards. I, I don't... I can't figure out how to make it go forward, which is really odd. 
Uh, it, could it be that? Is that going to make us go forward? Huh. Well, this is a bit awkward, but you know what? It's fine. We're going to go and activate all of our groups here. Okay, we do have control over the turret now. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to stop here. All right, so we're going to look for some air targets. I saw something fly over not too long ago. Let's go ahead and... Oh, look! My first jet. Oh, and let's go ahead and turn those. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, come on. Turn up, up, up. Lock. Give me a lock. There we go. Fox 3. Oh, that is too cool. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Oh, we're about to hit the runway. We're about to hit the runway. Okay, we're good. We got a tutorial plane, which is right above us. Where's he going? Uh, do we have another camera on here? Do I have one on the guns? Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Woo, Fox 3. Tutorial plane. Oh, it missed. Okay, send another one its way. There we go. Target is down. Do we have anything else? Is that full 360? I don't think so. I uh, got another jet coming. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. Come on, give me a lock. Three miles out. About to be two. There we go. Oh, it's going to hit the hill. No, it went behind it. Okay. Nope. Target. Okay, that missile missed. Let's go with another one. I'm afraid of this little hill. There we go. Wow, as soon as we land it, we have taken out three planes. Oh, that one is smoking and going through the air. Oh, that's cool looking. This is awesome. That is a very awesome creation. Oh, we got another one, really? Oh, this one just says enemy. Alright, got another lock on. And there we go. Boom. That is sweet. But yeah, I think it is uh, probably time to move on to the next creation. I just thought you guys might enjoy this little, uh, little airdrop here. All right, so for our next creation here. Now, this is going to look somewhat similar to uh, something we checked out about a month ago, which was a World War One Zeppelin airship, whatever you want to call it. Every time I call it one thing, somebody's like, well, no, it's this. So, anyways, this is very, very cool because this thing is equipped with bombs, and this is really made for dogfighting. So, we will go into the dogfight mode here in just a second after we check out the creation and how it works. Uh, and then we'll go in and actually have like a little World War I dogfight. So you can see we got a biplane attached to the back of it here. There's bombs lined up all under it here, so I'm assuming they drop right down. Uh, you can see the turrets right here. There's one here, and I believe there is one on the top. So this thing is fully equipped. This is really cool looking. So, question is, how does it work? Now, once again, I read the instructions, but things don't stick with me always, so it's going to take me a second. Uh, let's go ahead and throttle this up. I'm assuming we're going to be using uh, these controls here to the left to the right. Okay, so, oh, look at that. It's already carrying itself up here. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and let it ascend, and we'll start playing with the other buttons. All right, so we've ascended a little bit. Let's go ahead and start pointing the nose up. Let's go ahead and activate the engines here. All right, she should start to travel a little bit faster. Now, uh, as we're going up here, let's go ahead and check out the cameras. We've got, of course, your basic orbit cam. Actually, I guess we're on the chase. Here's your orbit. There's camera one, which looks amazing because it's in the turret. Camera two's bottom turret. Three is, I can't tell what this is. This might be the plane. Four is inside cockpit. It's got a really detailed cockpit. Actually, this looks really good. Dude, check that out. That is really detailed. That's awesome. Uh, do the levers move? Oh, they do move! Oh, it's so cool! Alright, oh, this one's got a bomb cam, too! Oh, that's crazy! Alright, and here's the, uh, cockpit for the, uh, for the biplane. Dude, this thing is so well equipped! Alright, so we're gonna make a turn here. I wanna test the bombs out, to be honest with you. And we got a nice little bridge over here to, uh, hit. So, let's go ahead and start turning. And it's going to take a second to get over there, but I think we can do it. All right, so you can see that the uh, the bomb targeting mod, that's where it's telling me that this is going to drop. How accurate is that, like, compared to the camera, the bomb cam? Let's see. Uh, okay, well, one's saying it's a little ahead. The bomb cam's showing it down here. I don't know which one to trust. <laughs> uh, let's correct ourselves a little bit, and we're going to drop everything here. I don't know if I need to do this with the uh, right bumper on the controller or this might actually be group activated. I kind of want to drop a bomb just to check. Let's go ahead and drop one. 
Okay, so yeah, you can uh, drop all these individually. I think there's a way to drop them all, which we'll do that here in a second. I just want to try to hit this bridge. So we're going to tilt a little to the left. I really should, probably should have went the other way on the bridge instead of going across, go with it, because we could have bombed the whole thing. All right, let's go and get in our cams here. Bomb cam, okay. I'm going to pay attention to the green arrow or the green circle up here. We're going to start dropping when that gets to the bridge. And then hopefully this one down here lines up too. I'm not really sure which one's the more accurate one. All right, we're about to start. Waiting, waiting, waiting. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Bombs away. Bombs away. We're releasing. Uh, should be a pretty constant stream here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that camera out. Waiting. Come on, we had to have hit the bridge. Oh, we hit it. There it goes. Target has been hit. You know, we really only hit that with one bomb, and I think I dropped like 12. Well, at least we hit it, though. Bridge has been taken care of. Now, let's go ahead and play with some of these other groups real quick. So, where are our bombs? They're up here. Uh, actually, you know, it's weird where the targeting is. There it is. That little green thing kind of gets in the way. All right, so number two is... What is that? Is that like a little buck? Is that a gun or like a bucket? What is that thing that just popped out, guys? You know, I probably read it on the instructions. It almost looks like a, a little uh, cherry picker thing to pick somebody up. <laughs> Could be completely wrong. Huh? Let's fire some guns off real quick. Okay, now you've got the guns on the top and the bottom, which I think the bottom gun's actually hitting the cockpit. <laughs> it's going right through it. It's crazy looking. All right, let's go and go at three. Three's your biplane, so we've launched that. Do we have full control? Oh, we do. Oh, it's got guns also. All right, so the airship is still up. Uh, let me go and swap back over to the airship. There we go. And, and yeah, you can control both of them. Look at that, our biplane. It's hard to see. It's actually going up right now. That is so cool. All right, so let's go with four. Four is, I didn't see what four did. Maybe four was the one side of bombs. Let's go five, nothing, six, seven. I could have swore it was one just to drop all the bombs at once. Uh, maybe there isn't. But anyways, as far as the control, the turrets control uh, with the uh, right stick on the remote. So we should be able to enter in dogfight mode and have ourselves a little fight. Did our, uh, our biplane disappeared? This is too cool, though. I really, really like this creation. And one last thing is, I think those little panels on the side, I do believe those might be countermeasures. I don't... Or, you know, those might just be glass, like windows. I don't know why you would have countermeasures on something this old. But, anyways, let's travel over to dogfight mode. This one comes paired with a biplane that you're supposed to fight with, I guess, to make it fair. All right, so we have our two opponents here. We have the airship, and then we have a, uh, a German dogfighter here. And these two are meant to be played with together because this is, uh, I guess, a bare minimum biplane, and it doesn't lag as bad. So I think we're ready to go. We're going to try to shoot it down with the turrets. I guess I could deploy the uh, deploy the biplane, but I think I want to try to actually take it out with the blimp itself, or the zeppelin, or the airship, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to get it right regardless. It says airship up at the top. All right, here we go. We are ready to battle, looking for our target. We're activated. Oh, he is right above us. Oh, geez. Where's he at? Okay, he's coming from there. All uh, right, we're going to try to take him out with the turrets. He's going to go to the... He's going to be at the bottom turret. Now, I realize that the bottom turret actually controls with... Oh, let me get to it. There we go. Bottom. It controls with these, opposed to the stick like the top turret. So... Oh, it's got full 362, though. All right. Oh, this is going to be awkward to try to hit him with the bottom one. Let's go ahead and raise those up. Come on. Oh, he might cross paths with that. Oh, I need to turn you a little bit. Oh, this is intense. Dude, we're pretty close to target here. Oh, let's swoop down. Oh, come on. Come on. Hit him with the guns. Oh, we're spraying him. Dude, he's down. Dude, we took down the other biplane. That Wait, that was a little too easy, wasn't it? Why did they not give us the win, though? Is there a, another biplane? I only said it to just him. All right, well that uh, that bottom cannon absolutely destroyed him. That was uh, that was pretty quick. That was epic. Uh, let's do that again. All right, enemies back in the air. He is uh, gonna swing around. Oh, this looks so awesome. Whoa, did you see that move he made? 
All right, so let's hope we're gonna switch to the top turret here. So let's get on the top one. Where are you at? So this one controls with the uh, the right stick, which is a little awkward because it doesn't have a. It doesn't feel like it's got full 360 because it's actually it locks. So it's like a, a steering wheel. Uh, where did he go? Oh, okay. I'm seeing. I'm getting shot at. Oh, this is awkward because it doesn't stick. Okay, I see him. Oh, wait, what? Did we just lose it? I think we just lost... No, why did that camera switch? Oh, okay, we're getting lit up here. I could try the bottom guns again. Oh, that looks so cool. All right, so you know what? Let's go ahead and try the biplane. So let's tilt this... Oh. You know what? Let's go ahead and not try the biplane here. Let's go to the bottom gun. He took out our biplane. What a butthole. Uh-oh, airship is... Uh, oh, no, airship's going down. Airship's going down. He hit the cockpit of it. Oh, he blew it, the front end of it off. That looks so insane. Oh, that is awesome that we can have a, a battle like that now. All right, I feel like we need to reset one more time there because uh, I panicked. I didn't quite get my stuff together. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of using the top turret uh, because it's really uh, finicky. But what if we were to deploy... Uh, what if we deployed the aircraft? Let's go ahead, make sure the blimp is tilting somewhat up here. Oh, he almost hit us. All right, so let's do that. Let's go ahead, get ready to deploy. Okay, one of these deploys, there we go. Oh, oh, come on, come on, there you go. All right, let's get into the uh, the biplane here. Where is it, where is it, where are you at? Okay, here's the biplane, do we have a third person? All right, there we go. Ooh, this is an orbit cam, this is gonna be awkward. All right, question is, can we shoot that thing down? You know, we might be better off in the first person of the biplane. Because, uh, it's really awkward. All right, we're looking for our buddy here. We've got a real dogfight. we got to protect the, uh, the airship. Let's go ahead and light him up here. Oh, this is awesome now. And there's our airship. All right, let's try to... Uh... Actually, I can't tell. Is he going to go for us now, or is he going to continue to go for the airship? Which I think we just might have... Did we go under it? Oh, we did. All right. Oh, let's correct ourselves here. Yeah, he's going for us. He's only uh, 0.2 miles out. Oh, yeah. Hello, buddy. Eh, he's going to fly over us here. Uh, What's damaged? Oh, he's going after the airship. Oh, the airship's going vertical right now. I think it's going down. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. This is so intense. This needs to be like a custom mission or something. Uh, oh, on. there we go, light him up, light him up, oh, we almost hit each other. I like fighting with biplanes, this feels a little more doable. Uh-oh. Oh, he just crashed into the side of it! What the heck? Alright, is it still, uh, can we salvage it? Can we save? Oh, can we save this? Wait, it's still going! It, actually, no, I think we're losing altitude, but it, technically it's still going. Oh, you can see a little piece down there of the, uh, other biplane. That is too cool. That is way too cool of a creation. That is uh, probably one of my new favorite Simple Planes creations right there. Wow. That was intense. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead. I guess we're going to move on to the next one. Alright, so for our final creation here today, we have something a bit different. This is called the Ethos of Settlement. Uh, this is a big spaceship, which it's got like some sort of hyper speed on it. And I think it's just going to be amazing because look at this. How do you create this in simple planes? Like, I've seen the shapes and stuff. This is, a, uh, this is crazy. Wow. All right, so this thing's a, a little bit complicated when it comes to takeoff. I was reading some instructions. I was like, all right, it's going to take me a second to learn this, but we need to go kind of slow to get ourselves up here because it goes straight vertical. So there we go. Dude, that looks so cool. All right, so we can, uh, the VTOL controls, do they do anything? I'm not sure if they do or don't. Oh, there's what the one that I was looking for. Yeah, you can set this thing just like vertical and make it shoot straight up into the air. Now, this has got some sort of hyperspeed to it, so let's go ahead. Are we at, are we at full throttle? Let's go ahead and hit. Whoa, no. No way. Dude, what is in here? How do you take off that instant? Look how fast we're going. We're going 92,000 miles per hour. All right, what happens when we slow this thing down? Let's hit one. Uh-oh. Does it slow down? Oh, this is not slowing down very quick, is it? Uh, let's go two. 
Oh, what is two like mega hyperspeed? <laughs> How fast are we going now? Oh yeah, we're almost going. Uh, you know, two hundred and fifty thousand miles per hour. That's uh, that's nothing. Oh, this is insane. All right, do we have an air brake or something? Uh, let's go three. What is three? <laughs> what are we going now? Oh yeah, two hundred seventy-three thousand miles per hour. Totally acceptable. Uh, what happens when we do this? Oh, what the heck? Oh, how do people create this stuff? All right, let's go ahead and deactivate everything. One of these, I thought it said it had like a parachute system or an air braking system. I have yet to find this system. Uh, let's go five, six, seven. You know, let's just click all the buttons. One of these is eventually going to slow us down. Wait, no, nope, we're not slowed down. All right, so upon reading the instructions again, this is a uh, this is probably one of the weirdest spacecrafts that I've ever seen in this game. So the weapons, it does have the big wall of doom, which is cool. Uh, but what this is really meant for, this has got like a hyperspeed, which obviously we figured that out, but we kind of did it in the wrong way. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and climb here, and we're gonna tilt our nose up just a little bit, and we're gonna use the one to activate the little warp drive and travel into the air. And then we're gonna tilt ourselves back down and come back down to Earth. Uh, if I read that right, I think we should be able to almost instantly stop ourselves or kind of stop ourselves from hitting the ground. It's gonna be pretty tricky here. So let's go and do that. Okay, let's go and go up here. So we're gonna hit one that's gonna warp us into the sky, which by the way, we're gonna be going about eh, 90,000 miles per hour, you know, nothing big. Okay, so we're warping into the sky. Now, I believe the left side over here, this might be a bit of an air break from what I was reading. I don't know how, uh, I don't know if I'm accurate on that, but what we can do, all right, so we're climbing here in the air, so we can go ahead and start tilting ourselves down, which we're still climbing at a rapid pace, by the way. And there we go, we're still climbing. And we can use the warp to bring us back down, which I think we would use number two. There it goes. It's warping. Yeah, we're dropping now rapidly at 200,000 miles per hour. And then we're going to use the... Okay, so we should be able to level this out. We should be still going down. Okay, and we're going to use the three to keep us from killing ourselves here. So waiting, waiting, waiting. This is going to be quick. Waiting. Uh, where's the ground at? There we go! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I waited way too long. So you're supposed to hit the three key. I don't even think I got the three key there. You're supposed to hit the three key and it should keep you from slamming into the ground and you just blast right back off. That is a crazy contraption. Let's try that one more time. All right, coming back down to the ground here. Let's go and hit three. This should keep us from slamming. So let's do that. Let's pick up the nose. Are we still coming back down? Oh, we are. Okay, we need to reactivate three. Come on, don't slam into the ground on me. Oh, I wonder if those are one-time uses. Oh! It tried to correct itself that time. This is a weird, this is a weird aircraft to use or spacecraft. Yeah, you're supposed to point your nose back up, and I think right around 100,000 uh, feet, you're supposed to punch three, which basically acts like an air brake to slow you from uh, slamming into the ocean like we just did there. That is cool. That is tricky to use, but that is a, definitely a very cool aircraft. But anyways, I do think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. We kind of spent quite a bit of time on the uh, the first two creations here. Uh, very epic creations here today. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for future Simple Planes episodes, let me know down in the comments section below. Uh, let me know what you want to see, and we'll see what we can do here because i uh, got a lot of cool stuff here, and they've been, uh, they've been releasing a lot of really awesome stuff, so we can do any themes that you guys want to see. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we will see you guys next time on Simple Planes. Thank you.